Hey, hey, hey! How is everybody doing in the quantum realm? What? Hey guys, uh, this is Gaurav and welcome to my channel once again. It's been a while, uh, but here we are back again. If this is not the first time that you are here, uh, go right away and subscribe uh, to my channel because if any way you have to do it, why not do it right away, right now? So go ahead and do it. Uh, hold on. Let me have a sip of my coffee. Oh, wow. Just the way I like it. I'm going to be talking about the Android Developer Certification today. Um, I will be uh, covering four aspects of the exam. First is how to register for the exam. Uh, next, the exam itself. Uh, third, the preparation. And fourth, uh, why did I take it or why should you take it? So without wasting any time, let's jump to it. So uh, registering for the exam is very simple. You uh, just need to go to the website. Uh, the link should be in the description below. And you can just Google it out as well. It's pretty simple. Go to the website and on the website, on the home page, you will see two options. Uh, one for the Kotlin exam and another one for the Android exam. For some reason, I clicked on the Android exam and I paid right away. I realized that I should have uh, clicked on the Kotlin exam. I don't know why I did it since, since Kotlin is the uh, is a modern language. So it's up to you. Uh, if you are comfortable with Kotlin, go ahead with the Kotlin exam. Both of them will be uh, will be pretty similar. It's just that the coding constructs will, will differ. Okay, so after that, you have to pay for the exam. If you are in India, you have to pay 6,500 Indian rupees. And if you are outside India, I'm not very sure, but what I've heard is it's you'll have to pay 149 US dollars. Just be aware that you get three attempts to clear this exam. Um, so after you have paid, uh, you can attempt the exam for three times. So after you have paid, you'll go to the candidate portal uh, where you will see this option to start the exam. Um, not actually start the exam but to download the android studio and once you open the android studio you have to download the uh, the plugin that hosts the exam um, so the steps are very simple they are mentioned on the website uh, you should be good after you have downloaded the android studio you have uh, installed the plugin over there you will see an option to start the exam so uh, once you start the exam you have around eight hours to uh, to submit it let's jump to the next part what the exam is all about in the exam so in the in the plugin that you have installed you'll get to see around eight to nine tasks that you have to complete and uh, so one more thing that the moment you start the exam uh, you will see some kind of code in front of you by code i mean it will be an entire full-blown android project uh, for an android app obviously all the tasks will revolve around three areas primarily bug fixes adding new features and uh, the testing and and mind it the testing will involve both the unit testing and the espresso or the instrumentation testing as well so you take your time uh, you complete all the tasks and you submit the exam within eight hours and once you submit your exam then you will get around two days to uh, go through an exit interview so exit interview it used to be an interview with a person face to face but now there isn't any two-way communication you know so you'll get around four or five questions around the project or around the code uh, that you have committed and you will have to record video answers for every question and you'll get around uh, one minute per question for, for that video answer and you don't need to care about the, uh, the video recording and all everything will be there you just need a web camera hold on and every time I drink this coffee I feel like I'm even more addicted to it so after the exit interview you um, you will get your result within a week or two you'll get an email and if you pass the exam you will uh, get a link to your certification and that's all and by the way that that's how the certification looks and I've included the link to my certification in the description below if you want to check it go ahead and take a look at it so third the preparation when you are registering for the exam uh, they provide you with the uh, with the preparation material as well uh, what I did is I went through the material um, I, I guess uh, I spent one day on the material just reading stuff 
but I'm not very sure if it uh, helped me to crack the exam because what I feel is you will be able to crack the exam if you have significant experience in developing Android apps end to end in a production environment. I mentioned production environment. It's important that you have written unit tests, you have written uh, uh, the espresso tests, only then you will be able to crack the exam. Uh, for the topics uh, as such, so whatever general stuff you face during your Android development, uh, like uh, like the new MVVM architecture, uh, the Jetpack libraries, paging, work manager, room database, recycler view, and especially live data. So uh, live data is pretty pretty special over here. I'm mentioning it exclusively. You should have clear understanding on how the mutable live data works, how mediated live data works, and uh, how you coordinate between uh, various live data. All in all, I think if you have built around two to three Android applications using the modern Android development tools, uh, you should be able to crack the exam. I won't say very easily, because so for me, I didn't prepare at all. Uh, as in, I just went th through that study material in one day's time. And I didn't prepare anything at all. And it took me around five hours to complete the exam, five, five to six hours. And there were some tasks that needed some kind of, you know, deeper look into what the code is trying to do. And regarding the age barrier, uh, I, I'm not sure if there is any age barrier as such. It doesn't matter if you are in your college or if you have eight years of experience. What does matter is you should have solid Android development experience. Only then you will be able to crack the exam. Okay, so the last section, uh, why did I take the exam or why should you take it? Well, the one and only reason I think anyone should take the exam is uh, if they're looking out for opportunities and they want to have Google certification on their resume, just go ahead and take the exam. Uh, I, personally for me, I, I don't know. I just saw that something of this sort exists and I haven't done it and I have a lot of Android experience and why not take it? Yeah, 6,500 rupees is a significant amount. So if you if you really want that Android certification on your profile, go ahead with the exam. Otherwise, take a chill pill and relax. <laughs> I guess I've mentioned everything or whatever I wanted to. Um, and if in case you have anything else to mention, do let me know in the comment section. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> Well, I plan to make uh, similar videos mostly around software engineering in the future. So uh, if you're in your college, maybe uh, first, second, third, whatever year, I seriously think that whatever I'm gonna uh, cover in this channel is going to help you a lot in your journey. And I'll finally complete my coffee. <laughs>